So I have some impressions about Legend of Heroes Trails Through Daybreak. I'm coming from this from an interesting point of view, I feel. I am not a big fan of the Trail series, in that I'm not really a fan at all, because I played the first one, Trails Through the Sky, first chapter, but I paid that many moons ago, and not really touched the series since. Not through any negative reasons or anything like that, Just I just haven't. So I picked up a PS5 recently and saw the demo for the upcoming Trails Through Daybreak was on there. And I thought, you know, why not? Let's give it a go. It's been a long time since I touched this series. And yeah, yeah, I I, I think I've been missing out. Like, Trails Through Daybreak is, is really interesting. Like, the main character, Van, instantly caught my attention as soon as I started playing. He, he's... Like, it's, it's this whole film noir vibe to the whole thing. Like, private detective... A bit gritty, a bit underground, skirts the law. It's a bit different from your normal JRPG protagonist. And it, yeah, really caught my interest. And I was like, okay, okay. So that got me hooked on the story. And then I thought, you know, I'd go in, get to the first gameplay elements. And like I knew Trails was obviously a turn-based combat game. But this also has action combat. And I was like, okay, we've got action combat and turn-based combat. How is this going to work? And I quite like how they've done it, you know. So your action combat is kind of like your base. And it's really good for getting rid of trash mobs. It's really simple. Just hammer a button. Like It's like the mindless version of action combat. You hammer the button and you've got a basic dodge. No fancy tricks or anything to it. And it gets rid of trash mobs. Makes it quick to traverse through dungeons. And then when you get to those more complex enemies... Boom, you enter the turn based mode. And it's it's the uh it's got like the tactical element to it, as in positioning is really important. And there's so many little systems to go together, like SCLM, which like link your characters' attacks together, and you've got S crafts, you've got arts, you've got magic, whatever that's called. <laughs> and yeah, it's there's so much going on and I actually really enjoyed it, which caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that. So, I only played through so far. The PS5 demo has, I believe, the prologue and all of Chapter 1. I've not finished Chapter 1 yet. I'm about halfway through it, and I've put quite a few hours in already. Like, this isn't a short demo. This is... This is a beefy demo on the PS5 at least. I'm not sure about the Switch one. I think that has a demo as well. But you know what? It sold it to me. Like it's really sold it to me. I'm I'm really interested in it. And if the rest of them like the rest of the Trails games like this, maybe I've been missing out. So yeah, it's so as you can probably guess, my first impressions from Nihon Falcom's uh, Trail Through Daybreak is, is really positive. Give it a go yourself, because like I said, the demo's out there. <laughs>